Yes. And this is a pumpkin. But we're not carving it. We just carved our pumpkin. But it might not last until Halloween, so we'll be able to do another one. So um, we're making it, and we already picked the seeds out of the pumpkin, so we're going to use them for the soap. And there's lots of seeds, you know, in the pumpkins. You'll probably take them out. Sometimes, um, maybe some of you haven't even made lots of pumpkins before. Maybe you haven't even made a pumpkin before. But all, all the pumpkins have seeds in it. And me, but me and Daddy are starting to make this. So, on with the show. On with the show. So, toasted pumpkin seeds with sugar and spice is the recipe we'll be using. And we have got our pumpkin seeds out of our pumpkin, got as much of the pulp off as we could, rinsed them off, and now we are going to pour them onto here and leave them overnight to dry, because we want them to be really dry when we cook them. So can you pour them, dump them onto here? Not with your hands, just pour the bowl, the column, stream. Okay. Okay. Onto the paper towel. There we go, okay. All right, so we'll leave these overnight to dry and we will be on with the show tomorrow. Boop, boop, boop. And, um, Welcome back, it's the next day. Um, the, our pumpkin seeds did dry. We had to do the kind of painstaking process of peeling them off the paper towel. Now we have about a cup and a half, which is more than the recipe calls for, but we'll prorate accordingly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dump them out on our sheet. I have a nice big half sheet that we'll use. Let's pour them out. We'll spread them in a single layer, and we're going to put them in the oven at 250. It's preheated for 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. into the oven for 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, so we cooked our pumpkin seeds for about an hour total. Um, we were letting them just make sure they were thoroughly done. And now we're moving them, we're ready for the next step. Yep. Well, I have a surprise. That is rather than the zebra one, and I am wearing the zebra one. Different than the real one. Different aprons. Who could think of that? All right. So I have a tablespoon of oil. We're going to start heating over here, over under medium-high heat, and then we'll get to that in a second. In the bowl, we have three tablespoons of sugar. Um, we are multiplying this recipe by one and a half, um, so yeah, keeping it interesting. All right, we're going to add three quarters teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. We're going for some seasonal pumpkin seeds here. Because pumpkin seeds are what we are mostly making because we we have hard work making things. I, you guys probably are not know what that means. Ah! And then we're doing three eighths teaspoons of salt. We're going to put the pumpkin seeds in the oil, um, add six tablespoons of sugar, just cook them for the, enough for the sugar to melt, about 45 seconds is all. Then we'll toss them in here, mix them up, and then let them cool. All right, our oil has heated, so we're going to go ahead and dump in our pumpkin seeds. Add six tablespoons of sugar. One, two, can you help me count, Sawyer? Three, five, six. These are going to be some good pumpkin seeds. And then we're just mixing this till the sugar melts. It should just be like 45 seconds. All right, so it's been probably over a minute. Um, but here, stand back. This is hot. Add a little color to the seeds in the process. Um, but the sugar melted. Now we're 
toss them in here, and then stirring them up to get them covered with all those yummy spices we had in here. Alrighty, well they've cooled off, so it's taste test time. You want to give it a try? What do you think? Thumbs up. With as much sugar as we put on them, yeah, they're quite good. Keep cooking, keep laughing, and keep having a spooky Halloween.